What's up, guys? Welcome back to A Your Hero, and uh, I'm gonna get back into this book. Okay, Scott Cunningham, Jimmy the Divine. We're gonna get back into the different uh, these different cultures, dream interpretations. Okay. All right. So this is Greece. Positive Hippocratic dreams. Uh, among the positive dreams, the hypocrites, hypocrites, interpreted are included the following walking safely or running swiftly and fearlessly, the right of rivers flowing smoothly with clear water, and singing um, gentle rain and fruit laden trees. Such dreams indicated that pure living, air, pure food, air, and water are. Maintaining the dreamer's health to see the dead clean of dirt and dressed in white clothing was also considered to be an omen of good health because the dead nourished the living. Now, the negative dreams is these were as common as positive omens. Uh, if the sight of the hearing was impaired in a dream, this foretold a problem in the head. If rivers ran abnormally, the dreamer was suffering from blood dis disorder, a blockage, or some other problem. The dead appearing in a dream naked dressed in dark clothing or covered with dirt was sure sign of disease as were fighting, stabbing, or being bound. Hypocrites just prescribed prayer for both good and bad dreams. Athena, Zeus, Hermes, and Apollo. That's weird. Apollo. Isn't that like a spaceship name? Hmm. They like went to the moon or something? And Apollo were thanks for positive dreams, while negative dreams were times of prayer, were times for prayer to the heroes, including Hercules, G A E A, Gai, Gay, and to all deities that averted evil influences, including Zeus. Or maybe that's Gaia. I don't know. All right, and still got more for Greece. Okay. Dream interpretations from Artemidorus. Artemidorus lists of dream symbols are exhaustive. These include the parts of the body, animals, plants, insects, foods, and liquids, occupations, drugs, various forms of sexual activity, birth, and virtually every aspect of life. Though he provided lists of dreams and their possible meanings, Artemidorus took great pains to include a variety of meanings for the same dream for persons of various professions, social position, marital status, even religious orientation. So, dreaming that one's head has been shaved is unfortunate to anyone but a priest of Isis for whom it is a positive sign. Hmm. Isn't there like a group called like Isis running around being negative? But here is supposed to be a priest of Isis. I guess it, I guess Isis isn't really a bad thing. Um, they people said just make it bad. For sailors, it uh, presages shipwreck. For the ill, a further collapse in health, but not death. Artemidora states his rational. Those who have been shipwrecked and persons who recover from serious illnesses are shaved, the dead or not. Some other dreams from Artemidorus include dreaming of being anointed with oils as highly favorable for women except adulterous. Okay. Of being sick, auspicious for those in captivity or for the ill of drinking cold water, good fortune, and drinking hot water, failure, or future disease. Artemidus' fifth volume contained 95 actual dreams, their interpretations, and their manifestations. In one, a man in exile in poor financial position dreamed that his mother twice gave birth to him. He returned to his motherland to find that his mother was ill. He soon inherited her property. A woman once dreamed that her lover had presented her with the head of a pig. After this dream, she soon broke off the relationship for Aphrodite doesn't favor pig's heads. One man dreamed that an olive tree was growing from his head and developed wisdom and eloquence that approached even that of the goddess represented by the olive, the wise Athena. <clears throat> Alright, that is it for Greece. I'm going to be doing a uh, do Rome next. And Rome doesn't really seem to have a dream interpretation. They kind of got something weird going on with like the church and Christianism or something, but we'll get to that.